I was going to try to do a 10 day resupply and I can only do seven. Seven is all that will fit in the BV 500. Um, so typically what I have is coffee. Uh, I use Taster's Choice in the hiking community, otherwise known as Taster's Nasty. Two per day. Doesn't really have any nutritional value, but it is kind of a comfort item. I'm a huge coffee drinker, so I usually have one for uh, any time I have a hot meal. So usually in the mornings and then in the evenings. Um, I still need to pick up some more of these. Uh, these are the Starkist Tuna Creations. I always get them in the sample pack, so it comes with ranch, sweet and spicy, hickory smoked, lemon pepper. The funny thing about these is that I absolutely hate tuna. Um, the way that I tolerate it on the trail is I use Fritos, which you can see over there in a the bag. I haven't repackaged yet into the smaller bags. Um, but I use those as a... I use this as a dip with the Fritos and then even though I don't like tuna for whatever reason my mouth says that's acceptable and allows me to eat it. I also use uh, Slim Jims, believe it or not, two a day. <laughs> and over here I already have repackaged these Cars Sweet and Salty mix. Um, I do two per day for each day that I'm there. And then uh, here I have my dinners, which is a combination of chili and the pasta primavera. Here I have my breakfast I've already gone over. Here I have the repackaged cars. I still need to repackage the Fritos. But to kind of give you a breakdown of what I've got, I've been over this a couple different times. Um, the breakfast is 830 calories, 100 grams of carbs, 49 grams of protein. All right, to give you nutritional value per day or per meal and then per day, the breakfast I've already gone over in other videos. I'll go ahead and go over it again. It's around 830 calories, which consists of 100 grams of carbs, 49 grams of protein. For lunch, again, I do the tuna creations plus the Fritos. Usually, usually average about 10 Fritos a day um, at lunchtime plus one of these it comes out to be about 240 calories 18 grams of carbs 16 grams of proteins for the dinner if I do the chili mac with beef it's 430 calories uh, 39 grams of carbs 42 grams of protein the pasta primavera you'll notice it's very close, is 430 calories, 41 grams of carbs, 38 grams of protein. So the pasta primavera is a little bit more carbs, a little less protein. Uh, you'll notice I actually have more of the pasta primavera than I do the chili. I've got three chilies, four pasta primavera, because energy is mostly what I need when I'm on the trail. Uh, these cars, sweet and salty mix, they have for two of them it is 480 calories, uh, 48 grams of carbs, 14 grams of protein. For the Slim Jim, two per day, 320 calories, 10 grams of carbs, 14 grams of protein. So my daily total becomes 2,300 calories, 217 grams of carbs, 135 grams of protein. Now. When I'm on the trail, if I am within a mile of a place to eat, I will go off trail to get something to supplement this. That's why I'm not trying to pack three to 5,000 calories a day. I will supplement as I need it. Um, worst case scenario is I double up on a meal or a breakfast on one day and then do a resupply a day earlier or something to that effect. Also, I carry, I'm doing a seven day resupply, but I'm not having breakfast, but I'm still taking seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm still taking seven breakfast. That allows me that if something happens where I can't resupply, I don't have to start the next morning off on an empty stomach. Um, that also serves to that 
Um, if I do need more energy or I'm kind of feeling run down or something like that, I could sacrifice a breakfast and have two breakfasts in the same day or, you know, do a breakfast, a lunch, a dinner, and then another breakfast in the evening, however it works out. Um, also, when I repackage these scoops, Credo scoops, I do them kind of the same way I did these. I only kept these out so you can kind of see. They are a uh, 1.75 ounce package. I do two packages per day, but I put them all in gallon uh, Ziploc freezer bags. The reason why I use the gallon instead of the quart is the gallon bags in the BV500 allows me to spread it out all the way to the edges where the quart keeps everything kind of like lumped up in the center. So I do the Fritos. Um, I can't actually put the Fritos in the BV500 until day two because I have to eat a full day's lunch, nuts, breakfast, dinner in order to make room for that. I just risk it and basically keep the Fritos on me in a Ziploc freezer bag and that's the way I do it. So technically the evening of day one, I can finally put the Fritos in the Bear Vault BV500. But during the day I carry them on me, so no big deal. Um, also, what I do when I'm hiking, so that I don't have to get in and out of the BV500 all the time, I have this uh, Jansport waste pack. I've done this before on other hikes, it works out pretty good. Basically what I do is I will put in the morning after breakfast, I will put the day's meals and snacks in this. So I'd put like a dinner, a lunch, some snacks. I actually carry a quart, empty quart bag that I'll transfer about a day's worth of snacks of these into a quart bag and put in here, but just for example this. And two coffees, so for a day, or actually it'd only be one. Cause I, I already had the morning, I already had breakfast, I already had my morning coffee. I put another one in there for in the evening. And then that allows me when I'm on the trail to actually get to this really quick. Um, to get to this really quick with the snacks and my foods in there and I don't have to get the Bear, uh, Bear Vault 500 out of the backpack every time I need to fix a meal or get a snack. So it works out pretty well. Then I keep um, some other things. I'll keep like cash, a photo ID, spare batteries, my stick pick, spare battery for the heart rate monitor, um, credit card, that sort of thing. I keep in this too. And uh, all right, so basically what I do is I start out, I put one of the gallons of the Coors Gorp in the bottom. Then I stack and alternate, I stack and alternate breakfast and lunch in the bottom. And I stand them up like this. I don't know if you can see it or not. So they're actually stood up in the bottom like this on their edge, side by side. The reason why I do that is you can get more in there and then it creates more air pockets on the end where you can put like your lunches and other things. So I can put like three or four of these or even more in the end of that space that's left over occupied and then you don't have like as much air gap. And then you can do the, for instance, the Slim Gems will go down on the edges then the coffee will often go on the other edge And 
if there's any left over like this one, I just stack it up on the other end in between like two bags. So like I said, I alternate between coffee and lunch or between breakfast and dinners. And the nuts go in, fills in the space. So that is seven days, and as you can see, I still have a little bit in the top. So I could put a couple of days worth, or maybe two or three days worth of of uh, the Fritos in there now. I just I still haven't repackaged them yet. That's why I have one day, not counting. So I have one day's lunch dinner and snacks already in this ready to go so technically i guess that would be six days in this and uh all i need to do now is repackage my scoops in there add them to the top and uh, maybe put a separate bag of scoops in here so that on day two i could add more scoops back in and let me tell you what i do with these scoops i always joke around about this i always tell people if you don't take fritos you'll die hiking the reason why I like Fritos so much, 160 calories, uh, 16 grams of carbs, 2 grams of protein, and 10 chips. So what I usually try to do is on, I take 10 chips for my lunch, and then, um, which speaking of, I still need to add my other uh, four lunches of this. So, uh, so I'll do 10 chips per day, and I actually count them out. I know it sounds crazy, but you don't want to take more than you need. You don't want to take less than you need. I do 10 chips a day. If I have room, like sometimes on shorter hikes, I'll take 20 or 30 chips a day because these are really good for a quick burst of energy. Um, when you look at how many calories is in size, you know, it's one ounce is 160 calories. Um, and it's a lot of carbs. It's mostly 16 grams of carbs. So I always tell people this is definitely something you want to take hiking with you. If you don't like tuna, try those uh, tuna sensation things. Use it as a dip for this. I bet you that you will, you'll, you'll be able to tolerate it. There's something about this offsets the taste of that tuna and actually makes it good. And I can't stand to eat fish. So try it, see what happens. One th last thing I want to do when I get the other tuna in there and I get the, uh, the Fritos too, I'll take and do a total measurement of what my weight of my food plus my bear canister is. I estimated it to be 15 to 20 pounds. I think that's still going to be the case, but we'll see. So I was able to get everything in this, including the corn chips and including the extra um, tuna sensations, tuna creations. You can see there's one there, two, three. Uh, Four, five, six. There should be a seven somewhere. Oh, there's a two actually there. So, uh, or no, there's just six. One, two, three. Four, five, six of the tunas because I have one in here. And then my second layer of nuts and then these. So, uh, I did have to crunch these just a little bit to get them to go down, but they are mostly still good. I counted out, there's actually about 75 or 80 in there. Not really a lot of room for extras, but uh, I might be able to fit a few in there if I really, really had to. Kind of wiggled it around some. I hear it crunching when I put the lid on. So uh, now let's go find out what this weighs. My weight first. I don't even know if we can even see this. 
Yep. 157.3 is my weight with uh, clothing and shoes on. Now I've got the bear bolt in my hand. 167.6. So actually I'm only at 10 pounds, 3 ounces. That's even great. That means my pack weight is going to be uh, pretty low. 157.3, 167.6. So 10 pounds, 3 ounces. Awesome.